Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So glad to see you back for part three of the Lush Scent Families videos. I hope you're enjoying them. Um, once again, leave any comments below if you have any comments and let's just get straight into the video. So the first one I'm going to start with is in the H category. So the first one's called Hagen Bath, described as a sweet mint scent. Got the Christmas Angel Bath Ballistic and the Hagen Bath Ballistic. I'm not a fan of mint, as you've probably all gathered by now. Um, sweet mint has got me curious, though. Uh, I must say it has got me curious, so I'd have to see what it's like. Next one is called Happy Blooming. It's described as a cherry and almond scent. We've got the Cherry Blossom Reusable Bubble Bar for Oxford Street 2015. Happy Blooming Bath Melt, Happy Blooming Shower Jelly. Cherry and almond sounds interesting. It could be hot, go horribly wrong <laughs> if not done correctly. Um, I like cherry when it doesn't smell sweet and super fake. I hate that smell when it's like that. And almond, once again, same sort of thing. I don't like it when it's like a... A sweet almond scent. I don't like that either. So, yeah, interested to see what that's like. Next one is called Happy for S dot A dot a D. So happy for sad. Described as grapefruit, neroli, and mandarin. Happy for sad shower gel, lush forum 2014, and shut up and get over a path bomb 2019. That's quite a funny name. Um, I like the sound of the scent, but it sounds very familiar to some other ones that have been uh, previously on the list. I can't think of exact names right now, but it seems to be a, um, a repeating pattern to have um, grapefruit and mandarin together. Um, and it also seems to be a pattern that neroli and grapefruit are together as well. So maybe grapefruit's just really good with everything. Who knows? Um, sounds nice. So sounds like there's nothing wrong with that combination. Um, I'd have to check it out. Next one is Happy Happy Joy Joy, described as neroli, orange flower and grapefruit. Frozen Bath Bomb, Oxford Street 2015. Frozen Liquid Perfume, Frozen Solid Perfume. Happy Happy Joy Joy Conditioner. Happy Happy Joy Joy Naked Conditioner, Lush Kitchen 2017. Sea Spray Hair Mist, Shine So Bright Hair Balm and Snowy Bubble Bar for Christmas 2016. Now... Those of you who watched in my last video, this has been duplicated, I believe, from the Frozen uh, scent family. Maybe there is some sort of debate in the community, whether it's the Frozen scent family or the Happy Happy Joy Joy scent family. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know why it's been repeated. Um, I don't remember what I said for the Frozen one, but it sound, but for me it sounds... Like it could be one of those ones that could go horribly wrong or could be really lovely in the smell. Um, so, yeah, interesting. Happy Hippie is described as a grapefruit smell. So it's a Happy Hippie Naked Shower Gel for, from Lush Kitchen 2017. Happy Hippie Shower Gel Regular, Happy Pill Ballistic and Hippie Chick Ballistic. Well, sounds like it's very uh, just straight up citrus, which isn't something that's my favourite unless it's like the heat of summer. Um, I'd have to check it out. Seems to be a lot of grapefruit, isn't there? Next one is called Hidden Mountain, and that is described as Labdamum, Hoewood and Oak Moss. We've got a Hidden Mountain Soap for Christmas 2017 and Komorebi Soap from Lush Labs in 2018. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. Mm, sounds very woody. Sounds quite unisex, so I'd have to check it out and let you know. Next one is one that everyone knows, I think. It's called Honey, I Wash the Kids, Honey Toffee Scent, uh, Golden Egg Bath Bomb for Easter 2014, Gold Fun for Christmas 2013, Honey, I Wash the Kids Bath Bomb for Community Favourites 2018, Honey, I Wash the Kids Body Spray for Lush Kitchen 2018, Honey, I Wash the Kids Liquid Perfume and a Solid Perfume, Honey, I Wash the Kids Soap, Humpy Dumpy... Dumpty. It's called Humpy Dumpty. Not Humpty Dumpty. Maybe it's copyrighted. Uh, bath Bomb for Easter 2016. Ma Bar Bubble Bar. Nonny I Wash the Kids Body Lotion for Lush Kitchen 2018. Santasaurus Reusable Bubble Bar for Christmas 2016. 
Shoot for the Stars Bath Bomb, and that was released Christmas 2013 and Christmas 2016, maybe in different um, sort of styles. Sugar Mama Sugar Scrub for Lush Kitchen 2017, and The Mum Reusable Bubble Bath for Mother's Day in 2012. I love the Honey I Wash the Kids soap. Um, I also love the Fairly Traded Honey Shampoo, and I'm curious as to why it's not on this list. Maybe it's a different smell. Um, maybe it's less on the toppy side. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I was hoping to get something like the Noni I Wash the Kids Body Lotion, but I wasn't a Lushy at the time that that was released. I've only become a Lushy in the last sort of six-ish months. Um, so I'm kind of disappointed I missed that limited release. I would have really enjoyed something like that. Um, but yeah, definitely looking to explore more in that range. I would buy a liquid perfume as well, but I have not seen that one available in stores as of current, as of right now, as of April 2019. Um, yeah, I, it's, it's one of the most popular scent families at last. You can't go wrong. It's well liked. It's, you know, the soap is one of the best sellers and continues to be. So yeah, it definitely can't go wrong. Next one is Hot Toddy, described as spiced orange and Coca-Cola. We've got the Christmas Kisses Bubble Bar, Holly Go Lightly Bubble Bar for Christmas 2014, Hot Toddy Bubble Bar, Hot Toddy Shower Gel for Christmas 2014, and Melting Snowman Bath Melt. And it's got in brackets new, so I don't know if that's a reformulation or something like that. I've heard people rave about Hot Toddy. I've heard a lot of Lushies... Um, you know, buying bottles upon bottles of the shower gel and saving it. Um, from what I remember, it has like a very deep sort of cherry uh, colour, not scent, uh, colour. I would be very interested to just smell it and see what it's like. Um, I'd be interested to see how sweet it is. I'd be interested to see how balanced all the spices and everything are. Sounds really nice. Next one is Ice Blue, described as a peppermint scent. Free shower gel, ice blue shampoo, ice blue soap, and mint bubble brush reusable bubble bar for Lush Labs in 2018. I think everyone knows what I'm going to say. It's a no from me. <laughs> Next one is Ickle Babies, described as lavender, sandalwood, and chamomile. Ickle Angel Bot Bath Bomb, Ickle Baby Bot Bath Bomb, Ickle Devil Bot Bath Bomb. Um, sounds very similar to something else on this list that I mentioned in part two. I can't remember which one it is. If you do, please let me know in the comments. But yeah, it's, it's all sounding like a blur. I don't know if it's just me or if you guys are watching it thinking, wow, some of these scents are really similar. And that's why people tend to get confused. I think that's what's confusing me. But I don't know. It's strange. Next one is called Icon, described as incense, citrus, and fruit. We've got the bubble bar, the dusting powder, the liquid perfume, and the soap. Sounds interesting. Uh, it's a very broad description of the scent. I'd have to try it out and give you my feedback if they did release something like this, because none of this is available in the shops in Australia at the moment or online that I'm aware. Next one is called Imogen Rose described as rose and vetiver scent. They had the liquid perfume and the solid perfume. And I believe Imogen Rose, correct me if I'm wrong, is the name of one of uh, Mo Constantine's daughters. I believe that's where the name comes from. Same with Amelie May. Um, I smelt this in store and I wasn't a fan, which is surprising because I love rose. But I think from memory, it was a while ago, it, it was either two sort of, I can't remember if it was just too rosy and too like in your face in that way or if it was too like old smelling. I can't remember. Um, yeah, interesting. Next one is the intergalactic family. Uh, got It has peppermint, vetiver and grapefruit and they have the intergalactic bath bomb as we all know. There was one that was released as a bath bomb in Easter 2017 and a nebula bath bomb released by the Lush Kitchen in 2016. I have smelt intergalactic. I wasn't impressed. I have seen the bath art. The bath art is impressive uh, with the intergalactic bath bomb 
and there's definitely a reason why it is a good seller because it is very unisex in the scent I feel um just not one for me I I, I don't like mint um vetiver I think it's the vetiver like everything with vetiver in it I don't enjoy so that's probably why I didn't enjoy Imogen Rose as well but yeah I have smelt it and I didn't really enjoy the vibe that I got from it yeah next one is I should cocoa described as a coconut scent I should cocoa soap Japanese aid flag sounds interesting um I'd have to give it a try I'd have to have a smell and see if it's just straight coconut or if there's earthy tones or other things to it I'm surprised curly whirly shampoo is not on this list um, I don't know if that's a different scent family, but it smells just like coconut water to me, curly whirly uh, shampoo. So yeah, very interesting. Next one is called the Jilted Elf, described as grapefruit, cinnamon, and ginger. Elf on the shelf fun bar. Remember when that was a meme? <laughs> that's quite a funny name. Uh, Jilted Elf shower jelly. Um, sounds very interesting. Sounds very Christmassy with the cinnamon and the ginger in there. I'm not a fan of ginger usually on its own. It would have to be really well balanced for me to enjoy it. So I'd have to I'd have to see if another Christmas release um, decides to have that as a scent. Next one is Jingle Spells, described as fruit and fennel. Jingle Spells Ballistic, the magic of Christmas fun bar for Christmas 2015, and the Wizard Bubble Bar for Halloween 2014. Fruit and fennel. That's a very broad strange description i know fennel um is a vegetable that tends to have a very aniseedy uh, flavor and smell so i can see why it would be used for a christmas product i can definitely see that but the fruit is very broad is it is it sort of more the winter fruits or is it more sort of a fresh smell i don't know so i would not be able to tell you if i'd like it or not unless i smelt it Next one is Johnny Appleseed, described as apple and green tea. So I've got the 1000 Millie Helens Jelly Face Mask and the Johnny Appleseed Bath Oil. I remember vaguely smelling the Jelly Face Mask. I don't remember loving it. I don't remember hating it, though. I th from memory, it smells just like green tea, like sweetened green tea. I didn't really get an apple vibe from it. Um... But I'd have to explore that a little bit further. It sounds really nice. Yeah, I love green tea scents. So, yeah. Next one is called Joy of Jelly, described as a floral. Chelsea Gardens Bath Bomb and Joy of Jelly Shower Jelly. Now, I hate when they put in the, the description brackets floral, brackets citrus. Um, obviously, you know, this is all the information that has been given to this blog. Um, and I completely understand and I love the um, lady behind all things Lush UK uh, but it's very hard for me to once again tell you if I'd like it or not and, unless I smelt it because floral is so broad and it can mean so many things it can mean sweet floral it can mean zesty floral it can mean very a heady like a heady floral it can mean anything next one is called jungle described as a passion fruit fig and kumquat smell and kumquat is a small uh, citrus fruit I believe it's an like a bright orange color sort of like an overly shape about that big yeah so they had the jungle fun bar in 2014 they had the jungle solid conditioner the liquid perfume the shower jelly the soap for 2016 the solid perfume the jungle slash tropical jungle body lotion so there might have been a couple of different names there Melt My Heart Massage Bar for Valentine's Day 2018 and Mr. Dandy's Hair Candy Dressing for Oxford Street 2015. Sounds very interesting. Sounds like nothing else that has been on this list so far. I love passion fruit. I love fig. I love kumquat and the smell of all those. So I can imagine it would be a very nice scent together. And the jungle sort of hints that it's quite tropical and, um, you know, maybe earthy as well i don't know i'd have to see next one is karma described as a patchouli and orange scent we've got the bling crosby bubble bar double fast luck emoti bomb karma ballistic the bath melt the bubble bar the dusting powder the karma combat solid shampoo bar the cream the karma cream 
the liquid perfume, the Massage Bar for Lush, Lush Kitchen 2017, the revamped Bubble Bar for Oxford Street 2015, the Shower Bomb for Lush Labs 2018, the Shower Gel, the Shower Jelly, the Soap, the Solid Perfume, the Karma Sutra Bath Bomb, clever Lush, clever branding there, and the Lush Bath Bomb, literally called Lush Bath Bomb. I can't stand patchouli. I'm just going to say it. I'm not a patchouli person at all. I feel almost, I don't want to say dirty, but I just don't like patchouli. I find it way too strong. It gives me a headache. Um, and I feel like I've just gone out to the earth and just slathered myself with leaves, if that makes sense. Um, I know patchouli is so popular with so many people, but it's in every flaming perfume nowadays, I swear to God. Um, and I know Karma is very popular and I know it is because of the amount of different products that Lush sells with the Karma scent and continues to sell with the Karma scent. Um, I have smelt it a couple of times. Definitely not my scene. Mm -mm, definitely not. I, I was willing to give it a try. I was like, I know it's patchouli, but I'm going to smell it. And I smelt the solid shampoo bar and the perfume. And I was like, this ain't it. <laughs> not my thing at all. But if it is your thing, go for it. Absolutely go for it. Next one is called Keep It Fluffy. It, it is described as vanilla and lemongrass. And we have a funny face fun bar for Lush Showcase 2017. Keep It Fluffy Bath Bomb. Keep It Fluffy Liquid Perfume and Love Birds Soap. Vanilla and lemongrass together. I have never thought of that combination. Once again, Lush, that's quite an interesting one. I, I would definitely give it a smell, give it a try. I love vanilla. I love lemongrass. Sounds a little... Lemongrass can be earthy, um, depending, but I think the vanilla would even it out nicely. Next one is called Curbside Violet, and it is described as a grassy violet smell. Got the Curbside Violet Liquid Perfume for 2014, the Curbside Violet Solid Perfume for 2015, the Sunny Day Anti-Static Hair Detangler, uh, in brackets, Newly Vegan for the showcase in 2018, and the Ultraviolet Bubble Bar for Mother's Day 2015. I did smell the uh, scent in store not long ago, and I did not like it. I thought it was way too earthy. I'm not a fan of violet by the sounds of it, but I do like the Daddy-O shampoo for some reason. So, um, yeah, I, I, I didn't like it. I felt like Lush really do push the boundaries on their perfumes, which I do enjoy. It gives something very different to the perfume industry as well. Um, but, yeah, not for me. Definitely not um, something that I personally enjoy when I want to buy a perfume. Next one along is The Kiss, described as smelling like pick and mix sweets. Um, if you're unfamiliar with what a pick and mix is, um, I believe it would be the same concept in Australia as it is in the UK. But what we have in Australia is basically you would go into a store. I remember back when, uh, you know, supermarkets used to do it not so much supermarkets anymore it's usually you have to go to a confectioner's shop or something like that um and there are all these different tubs um you know up and down the shop where you lift the lids and you scoop them out and you put them in a um little you know basket type thing and then you take it to the counter and they weigh it and you pay for it and all of that so i'm guessing it's very similar to that um so it's sort of like a mixture of all sorts of different sweets. Yeah. So they had a lip gloss for Valentine's 2012. They had a lip scrub for Valentine's Day 2015. And under the covers massage bar. I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. But it doesn't look like they have any current products in that range available in Lush stores. Uh, I'd have to check it out. Next one is called Leapfrog. It is described as a jasmine, neroli and rose scent. Uh, we have the Leapfrog Ballistic and the Leapfrog Liquid Perfume. Sounds interesting. I'd definitely give it a go. I'm a jasmine fan. I'm a rose fan generally. Um, neroli is in a lot of things that I do enjoy from Lush. So, yeah, I'd give it a go. Next one is called Lemony Flutter, described as a sherbet lemon scent. There was a Lemony Flutter Body Conditioner, the Lemony Flutter Body Lotion, and the Cuticle Butter, which is non-vegan, just for reference. Um, I have smelt the Cuticle Butter in store. 
and I enjoyed the smell. I I don't know what I was expecting from the smell, but it wasn't like a punch in the face lemon, which I did enjoy. Um, but it seems like just a creamy lemon smell, not so much a sherbet smell. Um, that's just what I picked up from it. Um, yeah, I, I don't see an issue with it. I am considering buying the cuticle butter uh, for a review and also using it on other parts of my body just to see uh, the results as well. So stay tuned for that one. Next one is Lem Slip. <laughs> Good play on words there. Um, described as tart lemon. Lemon bubble brush, reusable bubble bar, and lem sip bubble cream. Now, I hope it's a play on words of lem sip, which is a lemon drink that you make for yourself when you're feeling unwell and it contains paracetamol in it as a painkiller. Um, sounds interesting. I'm not a fan of really in your face lemon like I just described before. Um, yeah, I, I think they still have the lemon bubble brush bubble bar, I believe. It's one of those ones on the stick, I believe, but I don't think I've actually smelt it. So yeah, I may have to smell it. Next one is described as lemon zest. It's a lemon oil and lemon myrtle oil smell. We have the lemon zest soap for Mother's Day 2018 and the refresher shower jelly. I have not smelt the refresher shower jelly um i think this scent would be nice in a soap i think it would be really lovely i have tried lemon myrtle soap before uh not from lush from a different brand and i really enjoyed it um so yeah i think the lemon myrtle really balances out the pure lemon lemon myrtle is quite common in australia and it's just like it's sort of like an earthy lemon is probably the best way to describe it i really enjoy it anyway yeah Next one is called Lord of Misrule, something that a lot of big Lush fans are very familiar with, described as patchouli, black pepper, and vanilla. They had the bath bomb, the body conditioner for Lush Kitchen 2017, the body lotion for Lush Kitchen 2018, the body spray for Lush Kitchen 2017, the fun bar for 2014, the liquid perfume, and the liquid perfume in the 2018 version. So I think they updated the packaging to the modern uh, black lettering, black and well, black background with the white lettering. The naked shower cream for showcase 2018, the perfume oil for community favorites 2018. And I believe it's still on the website in Australia and in UK, in the UK. Uh, shower cream for Oxford Street 2015, the solid perfume, Monsters and Aliens, which is um, a fun bar. They didn't actually put that in there. It just says Monsters and Aliens, Oxford Street 2015, but it did become a permanent product. Rough with the Smooth Body Scrub for Oxford Street 2015 and Witch's Cauldron Fun for Oxford Street Exclusive Halloween 2018. I do have the Monsters and Aliens Fun. I bought all of the fun um sort of things to try out i have not tried it out yet the smell is very strong i am not a patchouli person so don't ask me why i bought it i i thought it would be good for my partner um but we've we've got a lot of other goodies to go through yet um i'm a bit on the fence um i've heard really good things about the shower cream especially when it gets released for halloween every year and if it doesn't get released for halloween every year people um are up in arms and the color is a very nice deep green which i really enjoy i think that would be really cool to put that on yourself it looks like slime almost um yeah jury's still out on that one i'd ha i'll have to check in and let you know when i do try the monsters and aliens eventually and i'll let you know what i think of the scent as well when i review the product love is the next one described as an apple and cinnamon scent we've got the fizz banger bath bomb the Lonely Hearts Bubble Bar for Valentine's Day 2015. The Love Apple Bubble Bar. The Love Atmosphere in uh, quotation marks. Shower Gel for Lush Labs 2018. We have the Love Island Body Scrub for Valentine's Day 2019. The Love Perfume. The Love Potion Massage Bar. Whole Lot of Love Bubble Rune for Mother's Day 2018. I love apple. I love cinnamon. I reckon this would smell like an apple pie. 
I've never smelled anything from this range. Um, I know the Fizz Banger was very popular when it was around, something that Lushies often rage, uh, rave about, not rage about. Um, yeah, I'd have to check that one out. Next one is called Love Boat, described as a lemon and orange scent. We've got the Love Boat bubble bo uh, bath bomb, sorry, for Valentine's Day 2018, the Mum bath bomb for Mother's Day 2017, and the Rose Lollipop lip balm. I have not smelled this, surprisingly enough. I actually, I think I may have smelled the Love Boat one when I was in store and I wasn't blown away because I actually know that's Valentine's Day 2018, not 2019. It would be a different one. The Speed Boat. The Speed Boat. That's the one I smell. Sorry. Um, well, I wasn't blown away by the Speed Boat scent, just to let you know uh, when we do get to that. Um, and, yeah, I mean... Lemon and orange, it's just, it's very basic. It's for those sorts of lush consumers who are looking to buy gifts for people and wanting a safe scent, or they're looking for a unisex gift or um, something that's a little bit, you know, I don't know, just nice, I guess is the right word to say. Uh, just a nice smell in the bath. Hmm. Next one is Lush Puppy, described as a passion fruit scent. We have the Lush Puppy Lip Scrub, Lush so Showcase 2017, and the Passion Fruit Lip Balm. That sounds right up my alley. I love passion fruit. I would love that in a lip scrub. I would die. That would be amazing. I would really enjoy that. I think that would be awesome. Okay, second last one for this video at least, this part three. We've got the last scent, described as Lang Lang, Jasmine, and Honeysuckle. Floating Flower Bath Ballistic, available from Valentine's Day 2015. Flying Fox Body Lotion for Lush Kitchen 2017. Flying Fox Shower Gel, described as a non-vegan product. Flying Fox Solid Perfume for Lush Kitchen 2017. The Fox Bath Bomb for Lush Kitchen 2017. Godiva Solid Shampoo Bar. Lust Liquid Perfume. Luster Dusting Powder. Lust Solid Perfume, Yes, Yes, Yes Massage Bar for 2014, Yuki High Bath Bomb, and the Yuki High Bath Bomb has made a reappearance for the 30th Anniversary Collection, the Harajuku uh, Collection. I have the Lust Perfume. I absolutely love it. It is amazing. It is very strong in the jasmine when you first spray and when you smell it just off a card but it does develop very nicely on the skin. And I feel like it almost turns into a rose scent. Like it, it's strange. It, it doesn't have rose in it, but I think the mixture of the Lang Lang and the Honeysuckle soften it and give it that sort of um, more fresh floral scent, I feel. I have had the Godiva Solid Shampoo Bar as well, and I feel that that's just full on jasmine. That's all I get from it anyway. When I use it, I the the jasmine is just very overpowering. Well, maybe the lang lang as well, maybe both, but I don't really get a honeysuckle smell from it. I, I like the scent family. I think it's wonderful. It's a shame I didn't get the yes, yes, yes massage bar when it was around because uh, it literally had a yes on it um, with the design. It was it was a like a cream color and it was a round oval like most of them are and it had yes imprinted on it but um might might not have been selling as well which is unfortunate but um yeah I think it's I think that would be amazing next one and the last one is called loverly and it's spelled l u v e r l y described as lang lang jasmine and geranium they've just got Fallen Petals, it just says. I don't know what product that would be. Um, and then Lovely Bath Ballistics. It sounds like it's an older scent range. Um, sounds nice. I mean, sounds very similar to the last scent. Um, just a more sort of citrus and fresher take. I think that's what they're going for with that anyway. Um, yeah, that's all for this part three. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please let me know with a thumbs up down below if you are. Please leave any comments, queries, questions, constructive feedback is welcomed. Any negative comments will be deleted um, and not responded to, obviously. But I do respond to everyone who leaves um, nice or sort of encouraging comments or anything like suggestions, stuff like that. I always love heart and like your comments and um, put a comment below it as well. 
Um, stay tuned for part four. That should be coming up very soon. And until next time, I'll see you very soon. Bye.